all things being perfect, I would have preferred to stay here, but it's just not practical. The Kangaroo Creek Farm is hopping out of Lake Country, but they'll only be a five minute drive away. We very rapidly grew in popularity, way beyond our wildest expectations. Um, we didn't think the poor access and egress to the property would be an issue, but with uh, the kind of crowds that we've gotten increasingly over the last few years, it has. Our parking is either on leased land or um, on shared use land. There's the possibility that those lands may be repurposed, in which case we would lose them as parking lots. As a result of us uh, voicing our intention to possibly move the uh, the owners of the land we lease that the kangaroos are on has also put the property on the market. About 2,000 people a day come to see the over 150 animals at the farm. We decided we really wanted a piece of property that was big enough to allow for future growth and allowed for parking that was an intrinsic part of the venue and not separate from it. We developed an interest in a piece of property that's in the north um, east corner of, of the airport, what used to be part of the Dixon Ranch. Um, it belongs to the Bennetts. Um, they've expressed an interest in leasing it to us. If approved by the Agricultural Land Committee, the farm will move from their 10 acre lot to a much larger one. Um, it's approximately 55 acres and um, we've applied to use about 4.5 hectares of that 55 acre parcel. They're expecting to move by 2020 if approved. For Castanet News, I'm Elena Kelly at Kangaroo Creek Farm. Communicate with other Castanet readers in our forum section, which can be found in the opinions button in our yellow masthead. <laughs>